must be a response to the promises of God. If there's no response to the promises of God, then one does not Walk. realize the promises of God. Mm -hmm. They hear about them. That's all, they're here. So then they come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. They just hear it. But you, the one has to believe the word of God. That's the response. The, re, the response is faith. Always remember that. To the promises of God, the response is faith. And faith, faith too, has to become active. And the active, act, uh, what is the word for activity of faith is believing. Mm -hmm. That's the verb. The verb is believe. That's how we respond to the of God. We believe them. We act upon them. All right? Listen to, we're going to listen to the apostle that was uh, given especially to the Gentiles as the apostle Paul in Romans 1 and verses 16 and 17. Paul tells us how to respond to the promises of God. Verses 16 and 17. Listen to the Apostle Paul. He responded to his calling. Yes. He says in verse 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. You see that? Yeah. It is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. You see the participle there, everyone that believeth. Okay? He says, uh, he says, to the Jew first, mm -hmm. and also to the Greek, that's the Gentile. So the promise of Abraham back in Genesis 12 is to both Jew and Gentile. To the Jew first, and also to the Gentile. It's the Greek. Notice what he says about this gospel. He says, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed. Watch what he says now. From faith to faith. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you respond. One responds to the promise of God in faith. Mm -hmm. right. One continues in those promises in faith. faith. Mm -hmm. From beginning to end, it's faith. Right. All right? Notice he said, as it is written, and here's the great principle, as it is written, the just yes. shall live by faith. faith. That's how you respond. That's how one responds to the promises of God. Mm -hmm. You, it's by faith. I always think about God's Designed for marriage. And in marriage, two people come together, right? right? They commit to one another. And the word they use is I will. I will. That's the word of promise. I will. Mm -hmm. And it says, how, how, how long will that will last? Well, it's done uh, according to the Bible until what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's for us part. See? That's a promise. And uh, many folk don't understand the promise. They make, human beings make promises, and uh, they make promises sometimes, they don't keep promises. Mm -hmm. Some keep promises, some don't. Yeah. I'm just talking with a, a person yesterday, and they was talking about a matter of situation. They said to me, well, folk just don't keep the promises. And I said, yes, yeah, some don't. Yeah. Because it, probably some never intended to. First place, because they never understood. That's, that's right. true. Right. That's true. What the promise, what the promise is. Right. What a promise means. What it means. Right? Mm -hmm. When you say, when a person say, "I will," that's the that's the word of promise. I will. I am determined mm -hmm. to do such and such. God says, "I will," and God says, "I will." He's going to carry out His will. Yes. Here's a decree we can see. When God created the world, He did it with His Word. Uh, if you notice Genesis, before God he spoke first. Worked, spoke the Word, He said the earth was void, mm -hmm. darkness, yes. upon the face of the deep. God spoke. That's right. Let they have their light. be light. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said there was light. Okay. Now, now notice how, how our God keeps his, his promises of light. He is light. Ever, ever since I've been in the world, and now 
agent. I've seen the sun arise and set. Always, it's by decree. The sun is always come from the east to the west. That's right. I've never seen it rise in the north and set in the south. No. You know what? God decreed that it would be like it is. That's right. He doesn't change. Man probably ever uh, sun were rising in the south, setting in the north. They don't like it that way. Be rising in the north, setting in the north. Yes, man. Yeah. But God uh, doesn't change. Even the season. Season. God set it in order. It's been in order ever since. Now we are looking forward to fall. It's already begun. The leaves are turning brown. The leaves are falling already. Autumn doesn't begin officially until what? September 20, uh, 21st, right? It's already started. But yeah, fall, well, yes. Fall is already started. Watch the leaves. Right. The leaves are turning brown falling. That's right. Amen. God has it. We got a what's going to call a summer. Well, fall. You know, they get fall, you know, the white leaves, the water falls. The leaves are falling. <laughs> and ever since you and I have been living, have you noticed it? Yeah. All the time, leaves are falling. Trees are getting bare. You won't see it. Probably the leaves on the tree unless there's some evergreen. But it's going to be bare. And after a while, what's going to fall a winter? It's going to be what's called a dead winter. Right, yeah. You're not going to see it. Call it a leaf on the tree. Now, what fall is winter? Spring. Watch spring. It's going to spring to life again. Right. Spring. The leaves are gone. Well, it's stuck budding. The trees are budding. Beautiful. Right? So God, God is the God of promises. He, he, he arranged it. He decreed it. He spoke it. When God speaks, he, he carries it out. He does it in order. You don't have to worry about it. Now you have to worry about the way you don't worry about it. You get your winter gear together, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. After a while, we're going to be wearing coats and jackets and furs and all that. Right. Ear muffings and all that. It's going to be, it's going to go on into wintertime. So God is, God is, uh, he, he, he's a God of promises. Whatever he promises, he will carry it out. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's the proper response? To a promise, to, promise of to believe and have faith. Believing faith is the proper response. And that's why the Apostle Paul gives it here. At verse 17, he says, In the gospel is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. It begins with faith. Say. Faith to faith. And you walk by faith to the end. You die by faith. You live by faith. All right? It says, It's written. Yes. Yeah. The just shall live by faith. That word just is also uh, righteous. The righteous. The righteous. The righteous. He's called the righteous. The righteous shall live by faith. E O U S. E O U S. E O U S. E -O -U -S. Yes. Mm -hmm. something. The righteous shall live by faith. Faith. Yeah. Here. The righteous shall live by, by faith. Shall live by faith. Think about it, yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. The righteous shall live by faith. So then faith comes. I hear I hear what? The word of God. The word of God. Because the word of, when you hear the word of God, it's good. the word of God has promises, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, his promises are built on what? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that. But me, the end of your mind. I can rest upon that. We have a song in our book, uh, uh, what is it? Trust Standing on the promises trust of God. And trust and oh, obey. trust and obey. Okay. Well, there's no other, other way, way to be happy in Jesus, Jesus but, but to trust, trust, and trust and obey. Mm -hmm. So we respond to the promise of God by trusting trust. God. Right. And obey him. And obey him. See, if I knew you, you'd be some commands. Mm -hmm. And he said, another thing I like about God's command, 
Christ and Christ says that uh, those commands are not grievous. That's right. That's right. You know what grievous mean? It's hard for you. It's I hard to do. It's oh, hard oh, on you. I, oh, can't. I can just say, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what God put this in yeah. me. Oh, it's yeah. so hard. It's so no, hard. It's no, what's hard is when you're not picking. Jesus you. said, my yoke is easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or, yeah. My burden is light. Yeah. Religion, uh, man-made religion makes it difficult. But not, uh, not God's righteousness. Jesus said, what did he say? Come unto me. Come unto me. All you that heavy labor. Labor. Work, labor. Yeah. And I have it laden. That's man-made religion. See? I will give you rest. But he says what? Well, take my yoke upon you. Learn of me and learn from me. Mm -hmm. For I am meek and lowly in heart and you shall listen to the prophet. You shall find rest. Shall find rest unto your soul. That's a promise. Mm -hmm. But what, what must be done first before we can have the promise? You must take his yoke. He's going to teach you to teach us something, right? Mm -hmm. When we take his teaching of God, what he teaches us, and we follow his commands, there is what? Rest. He says to your soul. Now the word soul comes come from a word we use a lot in our language. Psyche. We hear, hear the word like psyche. Yeah. Psyche comes from the Greek word suke, which is translated soul. Yeah. So, but a little over 100 years, uh, they think they come up with something new. Psychology is a discipline of a little over 100 years old. They thought they discovered something new. No, they're just trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Everybody going into discipline, psychology. Yeah, that's yeah. what 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 happened before before the hundred years? What happened two thousand years ago? Where was psychology? It wasn't there. I'm trying to get people to think. They, they, they look at me strange. You know, we're against the discipline. No, I'm not against yeah. the discipline. I'm against how they take the discipline and try. To, this is it. Try you know, like it's, it's Christ who gives rest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the thing, Brother Matthews. They keep trying to find another way, and there is no other way. Yeah. That's what psychology is about, yeah. try to find another way. But they teach you. you yeah, another way to have rest and right. peace in your mind. Mm -hmm. You have to take so many courses. You have to pay $250 for three hours. Yeah. More than that now, Brother Matthews. I know some of that. I wish it was for that. That's what I remember. Yeah. Inflation, brother Matthews. Yeah, brother Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> I say inflation. inflation. Yes, inflation. All the prices went up. Then it went up sure. now. But I went to ENT. You know how much I paid a year? A year? Five hundred dollars. A year? Yes. But uh, you only made a thousand a year. Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> 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 and I couldn't raise a thousand. Yeah, I know. It's all right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. How do we respond to God's promise? How do we respond to God's promise? Faith, 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 faith. Keep in mind, the just shall, listen, the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. Faith comes from mm -hmm. hearing God's word. When you hear God's word, you act upon God's word by doing what he has to do. Listen, listen to the base. That salvation. Listen to what Jesus said. It starts with Jesus. Under the gospel call. The gospel call. It's what Jesus said before he returned to heaven. Call his apostles. Mm -hmm. Go ye into all the world and teach and preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Every preacher. Listen to Jesus. He that believes, see, start with Jesus, and is baptized shall be saved. I know this is a promise. Who shall be saved? We shall be saved. Whoever believe, believe and and is whoever believe in Who is baptized. Who shall be saved? Whoever believe and is baptized. Thank you. Simple. This restrictive sentence. Who shall be saved? He that believes and is baptized. That's what Jesus said. He that believes, sit here, and is baptized, shall be saved. 
But listen, that's a popular, oh yes, amen, hallelujah. But listen to the other thing. Mm -hmm. He that I believe is not shall be the dead. That's a promise too. Mm -hmm. Which one would you rather respond to? Mm -hmm. I'd rather respond to it first. Yeah. I'd rather believe and be baptized and be saved rather than believe not and be damned. But, um, uh, but I was just thinking that, that we have to learn uh, the evidence of when we believe. We have to like keep looking within. You know, am I showing that I believe yes. uh, in the way that I live my life? That's right. See, yeah. life, life from above is a result of our response also. That's right. We keep responding to promises. See, the Lord teaches us initially how to get in. Mm -hmm. Then he teaches us, I put it like it's out of stand. Right. Mm -hmm. He says, really, basically, he says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciple. That's <laughs> how he said it. By this shall all men know that you are my disciple. That's right, based on how you walk. But listen how he said it. By loving one another. That's right. right. <laughs> mm -hmm. By loving one another. That's how we're going to know you are my disciples. Because normally, Without Christ in our life, we don't, can't love. we don't even know how to start loving. Nope. Anyway, nope. What does man know about loving no. if it hasn't been revealed to you? What does a woman know about love? What does a male know about loving? To the world, uh, what they call love is, is lust. That's what they call love. Listen to the love songs of the world. It's all about lust. I'm a soul man. Mm -hmm. You remember that song, I'm a soul yeah. man? Mm -hmm. You come with a truck. I go. Y'all look at me straight. I know that song. Yeah, that song. Yeah, song. Soul I'm man. Right. Yeah. They're not talking about a God. Right. They're not talking about a God. They love. Yeah. And in the world, love is conditional. Yeah. World yeah. love is conditional. That's the problem. I love you because. That's yeah. right. That's right. Use it. Use it in the flesh. I love you because that's man right. said, I love you because you look good. That's right. Mm -hmm. oh, I love you because what you're gonna so what do. About, what about condition? Looking good. Right. That's what he means. I love you if you keep your job. Yes. That's right. That's right. I love you because. That's right. I love you because. <laughs> that's the world. Yeah. 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 But God's love is not built on I love you because I just love you. That's right. God's love. This is God's love. For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he became his own. Everyone. How do I know it's everyone by the way? Right. Yeah. That whosoever believe in him should not hurt God. Uh -huh. But ever blessed. Another promise. The he hear it. You got so much religion in the world. Then he said, in one case, I've taught you to love one another. Then he says, as I have loved you. Listen. He gave the example when he was washing the apostles' feet. Showing them. He gave an example. Yeah. But when you're preaching, uh, teaching that, when you're teaching that to some righteous person, they don't hear that. Hmm. Well, they think they have done something. Mm -hmm. And they bring it to God. He said, Well, here's my here's my work, good works, give me my salvation, but it's not basic. Mm -hmm. All right, the, the response. The response is what? I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is God's power unto salvation. The good news about Jesus, it is essentially the news about Jesus is essentially, here's the word, the grace of God. Uh, 
The word grace means, simply means, think about it. God is a God that's continually giving. Mm -hmm. That's what grace is about. Listen, for God so loved the world that he gave. What did he give? His only son. That whoever, whosoever needs him, believes in him should not perish or have a That's grace. Grace, we got to help. As a matter of fact, when you become a Christian, it says, he invites us to come boldly to the throne of grace. Yes. It's the throne of grace. Mm -hmm. But what do we find? That we might obtain mercy. See, see talk about mercy. When you think about mercy, you think about God as a loving kind. You don't come to judgment, you come to mercy. That's the throne is grace. <laughs> this is the throne of grace. What do you obtain there? The mercy. And what else do you obtain there? You obtain help. So what is it? Grace is God helping you. Right now, you sit in there and I'm standing here, we breathe God is helping us. You know, science said, well, those involuntary muscles. I can't kind of explain it. Yeah. For Brother Matthews, it's like when 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 we uh, remember uh, that uh, God is our strength, it uh, removes a burden from us yeah. trying to control everything, yeah. because we remember that we're really not controlling anything. No. Uh, when we remember that God is what who's controlling everything, right, and we rely right. on Him. That's right. <laughs> and that's with or when everything. you learn that you're free. Yeah. 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 And that's with everything. So I jump up every morning and go to work. Uh, but uh, what happens while I'm there? You know, God is directing uh, that uh, the you know the things that happen throughout the day. Isn't it amazing, yeah? Whether a bad person is going to come in front of me or not. That's right. Yeah. I'm going to be confronted with luck. Or whether I'm going to run into a, a another a car that's not paying attention on the way. That's true. Protection from above. Protection yeah. on the right and left. Yeah. And you don't have any eyes behind, is it? Yeah. <laughs> and it helps us not to worry about things where we know where the strength is coming from. You know? Amen. There's, I can't, I don't know where the scripture is, but it talks about, you know, if it talks you worry, about worry, fear, yeah, and doubt. What, what, and what is it going Christ to be said. about the hair on your head? Since you know? Matthew. Yeah. Yeah, he, that's something to think about. Whenever you start worrying, go to that scripture, and it just makes it so clear to you that what what good is it going to do? We were told not to be anxious. You know? Anxious? You're talking. You're talking not to fear. Jesus said, "Fear not, little children." Yeah. It's your Father's good will to give you the kingdom. Yeah. Yep. But you look in a psychology book, they have all this stuff about worry and why and what the brain does that this, causes this. this but the you. end of the day is look at it. God, that's right. Claustrophobia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that stuff. But, 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 but mm -hmm. the same thing. When you go back to the Bible, it just tells you that's something you don't have to do. Fear not. See, see what God taught. Fear not, little children. Yes. Comes to little yes. children. It is your Father's good will to give you the kingdom. That's yeah. right. Oh my. That's right. But you got to be obedient. <laughs> <laughs> then it won't be so first, grievous. First, you got to be sure you got spiritual ears. You better understand. Yeah. 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 No wonder the Bible said, "He that have ears, he he ears to hear." hear. Yeah, because everybody yeah. don't hear. Yeah. Go beyond the physical. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. They're spiritual about that. Yeah, season. it is. If not. Not spiritual. I don't know why he said, he that hath ears, all of us got ears. That's right. That's right. He that hath ears, let him hear yeah. what the Spirit says. That's it. Right. That's it. Church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. We all have ears, but. Yeah, I got physical ears. Right? Yeah, but not You're a lot. to hear the Spirit. I Good don't point. Hear spiritual things. Good right. point, Brother Matthew. Well, the Bible teaches you. Paul mm -hmm. prayed to the Colossian. About the Colossian church, they have to have come into the faith. He prayed for them. He prayed that God would give them a spiritual understanding. Yes. See, see we can have an understanding, but not spiritual. But not spiritual.
That is so true. It's an understanding. Oh, I understand that. Okay. Even being here, well, I understand. You have to tell me, I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I really have an attitude. Yeah. I was talking to someone yesterday right here at the meeting. The lady was downstairs right there. She said, I'd like to speak to you. And uh, I just moved out to the crowd. Just, the doors open. That was a movement there. And make sure the doors open. Yeah, I know that's right. Yeah. I don't that. No, I know that's right. Why? Because you're going into a room with a woman, you don't know what she may try to say okay. behind doors. Right, you keep the door. You have God give us wisdom she too. Just talking to her, so keep that. That's right. So she got she was crying. That's where wisdom comes. She was crying. Mm-hmm. And she said, Brother, just pass this morning. Mm-hmm. Will you pray for me? Okay. I want to get some more information. herself to death, she died. Dad, my brother lived in California. She was that sad. She was crying, mm -hmm. crying. She said, will you pray for me? I said, let's pray. Pray. One thing I learned, she started in faith because she was baptized. Mm -hmm. She didn't continue. Yes. Mm -hmm.
To do what? To testify. To testify the gospel, the gospel of the grace of God. Of the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Mm -hmm. To testify the gospel of the grace of God. So what are you saying about God? What is Paul saying about God in his ministry? What is Paul saying about God in his ministry? That God is a God of grace. Of grace. He's a God of grace. Throne of grace. Come boldly to the throne of grace. Who sits at the throne of grace? God the Father and who else? Grace and Son. That's right hand. So come boldly to the throne of grace that you may do it. Obtain mercy. God is a merciful God. We obtain mercy and grace. find grace to help. In time of need. We have a song I need me when every hour. Need me every hour. We need constantly. That's what the song is saying. Could we read Brother Brother Matthew's brother um, <laughs> 32 in that same chapter? You can read the whole list, whatever. Get that out of well, it's sort of like based on what you just said. Yes. Yeah. The whole thing. I just wanted to emphasize the time, the grace of God. It's his ministry, the grace of God. God is a God of grace. Yes. Amen. I want to understand that more and more as I teach, preach the word of God. I want to preach what the apostles preach. Paul oh, testified to what? What did he testify to in his ministry? To, to the gospel of the grace Testified of God. Testified to what? To the gospel, the gospel of the grace of God. The gospel, the good news of the, mm -hmm. of the grace of God. The good news of the grace of God. Okay. And what gospel is good news? Mm -hmm. Good news about what? The good news, news about what? The grace of God. He's telling us in that message, God is a God of grace. And he's a God of grace. What? What outstanding thing do you see when you, when you hear the message coming from the Jesus, if he's a God of grace? What did you hear in John 2.16? God. 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 What, what can you read? It didn't say, God that loved the world. He so loved it. That, that little word, so. What does that mean? He's so it's loved it enough to give. Right. He's so loved it enough to send his only begotten it's son. It's true, but what that word, that little word so, what does it mean in our language? What does the word so added there mean? He loved us a lot. Yes, he got it much. He said, it intensifies a lot. Yeah, right. he's so loved but us. But so loved, not just love, yeah. he's so loved. Mm -hmm. That's the intensity of the love. He so loved the world. Watch, watch now. He so loved it that he gave. Only, only. Not, not he didn't have two sons at no. one. His only. That's why it's stressing. Only begotten son. Uh, yeah. Now, a mother, I take a mother's side. Mother bare children, right? Mm. Mother might have born two sons. From my mother's heart, I observed over the years, the mother wouldn't give up either one of her sons. <laughs> Right, Sister Emmanuel? You, wouldn't, you have two sons? You wouldn't give up either one, would you? That's the love, that's the heart of God. That's the love of God, you only had one. Right. Right. That's why I like the special. But God so loved, intensifies that word, intensifies his love, that he gave his only begotten son. Then it comes. Whosoever. Anyone, whosoever believeth in him, should not perish. That means something to the language. Should not perish. But everybody huh? The word, sh the word that should not perish is put in a, you know, in other language. We have moods. <clears throat> have a subjunctive mood. Remember? Isn't that important? Subjunctive mood is it says a mood of possibility. It could be based on something like this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
causes one not, what is the word used for not responding? Disbelief. Disobedient. Disbelief. Oh, disbelief. Okay. If, if belief is a response yeah, to the right. promise of God, then disbelief. Disbelief, yeah. Okay. okay. That's how one does when one disbelieves the promises of God. That's a negative response. And one who disbelieves God's promises according to the message of the gospel shall be condemned. Make sense? Yeah. Uh, that's the first bell. Yeah. All right. Let's get some additional initial response. His initial response to good news of God's grace. What does it include? It includes many other promises. See, it's based on promises. All right. Here's another promise. Here's what Jesus said. I will build my church. That's the promise. Right. Here's another promise. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Right? Yeah. Here's another. When he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all the truth. That's the promise. That's the promise. Amen. Amen. All these promises are explained by faith. Faith is not God. To understand faith. I would say in the teaching, the word itself, faith, is a noun. Noun, right? I don't know what noun means. A noun is just names a person, a place, thing, an idea, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, to respond, English point of view, we have to change the word altogether. The word has to become believe. That's the word. Right? Mm -hmm. Action. It has to. Mm -hmm. And you as a teacher you have to teach that because the problem is in English. Not in the Greek. You can read the Greek New Testament, no problem there. But the problem is in English. Just mm -hmm. shall live by faith. We know faith is a noun. It's what is it? It's naming something. Live by it. But it, to, to, to act upon that. You have to have an action word. One must believe. believe. Here it is. Give it in. Hebrews 11 and 6 is good. Without faith. That's a noun, right? It's impossible to please God. He that comes to God must believe. You see how it changes? That he is. So you use the faith and the verb. Right. Use a noun and the verb. Any questions? Does that make sense? Yeah. We, when we teach the gospel, we also teach a person, the mm -hmm. person must respond to the promises of God. Yeah. Especially when you get the initial. A person needs salvation, but a person cannot have salvation unless one respond. To have salvation, salvation is in Christ. One must respond by believing. That believes and baptized. Where is the promise? Shall be saved if after one believes and is baptized. It's so simple. Yeah. You, you can spell it out. Well, I can't see that. Lord have mercy. Look, Brother Matthew, but we can see if we're bearing fruit or not. Oh, yes. So yes. then, yeah. You know ahead. what you respond to it or not? Yes, that's right. <laughs> because if one responds to the gospel, God gives one something. Yeah. God gives each person who responds, gives him and her the Holy Spirit. Right. The Holy Spirit is a guide. The Holy Spirit produces fruit. That's right. Amen. You and I can't produce godly fruit. It's impossible. Yeah. We're sinners. <clears throat> Thank God. Saved by grace. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, you know, we're a sinner saved by grace. Yeah. I don't be boasting around holding it long. I'm a sinner. So faith without belief. Saved by grace. 
Faith without belief. Saved by grace. Mm. Faith without belief is almost nothing. Faith without what? Belief is almost nothing. If you don't believe. Wait, let me tell you. You said faith without belief. belief. To believe. Well, I tell you. I mean, yeah. It's only a noun. Yeah. So it's. <laughs> Listen. Faith without belief yeah, is only a noun. That's right. That's right. And it, is, it had no action to it. Right. You got it. That's <laughs> friendly. You just make me teach. <laughs> I don't have anything but a name. Nothing. Yeah, that's right. Until it becomes action, it's nothing. You got to believe it. So glad when my mind opened up to that. I was in religion. Boo! Hard. Do it myself. Yeah. So after a while, the Bible opened up to teaching. Yes. I just said, wow! Amen. Thank you. Everybody, thank you for the Lord. May the Lord bless us. Yes. Yeah.